Hi, Lisa here. So we're moving on to stage two. And you know when you go to bed when you've got young kids and you go to bed at kind of eight o'clock at night because they go to bed at eight o'clock at night. Yeah. And you desperately try and stay up till nine o'clock to catch the news headlines and don't quite make it. But there you go. So that's that's the exciting life of a, of a busy mum. Um, so I'm in bed and I kind of go, there's something not quite right, something firm here and, and you know, elbow, elbow wife to be and say, what do you think of this? And get the, we'll go to your doctor. So I think, oh, right, okay. Um, and the next night I go, isn't that something quite right? Have a feel here, go to a doctor, go to a doctor. So lo and behold, short story, um, I found the, the surgery and um, immediately they, they got me in that day. Uh, the doctor saw me and said, look, it's probably still a little bit of the swelling from the, the infection mastitis wise. Um, not nothing really to worry about. Give it another week, and it and it should clear and come back and see me. So, you know, every every night in bed, I'm prodding around and and figuring out. There's still something. There's still something there. I'm not quite sure what. It, it, and you know, when you kind of think you're making it up because you go through all these different things, and as I say, I, I'm. You'll know now. I'm I'm nearly fifty, and I'm kind of it's the menopause. You know, I'm getting sweats. I'm feeling tired. Um, it's probably just the menopause. So not to worry about it. These bubbly things happen. But she's great. The, the doctor says you're coming back next week. See me in a week's time. So I do go back. It's still there. And she says straight away, um, nothing to worry about. She was really calm. So nothing to worry about. It's probably a cyst. But I think we ought to get you in for something that's called a, a two-week urgent appointment um, down at the hospital for a mammogram and ultrasound, which she, she organised again there and then she organised. Um, and I then just had to wait for, for the appointment down, down at uh, Northampton General Hospital. So I'll bring you up to date um, on that next phase.